In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can apply this Chrome style to any text or logos without ever leaving Premiere Pro. This look used to only be possible with advanced 3D software like Blender or Cinema 4D, but today we can do it right here in Premiere using our Chrome Stylizer. Let's jump in and I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this look in just a couple clicks. Details are in the description to grab this full pack and use the code HAPPY20 to save 20% off at checkout. All right, so once you've downloaded the Chrome Stylizer pack, you're gonna open your essential graphics window in Premiere Pro, you're gonna go down to the bottom right-hand corner and click this plus sign, then find the file where you downloaded it, and you're just gonna import each of these 10 styles. You've got five files for your logos and five for your text with Neochrome, Glass, Metal, Gold, and Chrome. And I wanna kinda of show you a couple of my favorites and how you can utilize these things in a really creative way. So let's start with one of my favorites, which is Neochrome. And when I drag this into the timeline, you can see that we have this panel that changes from browse to edit, which gives us the ability to fully customize this. So it's preloaded with our happy editing logo, but you can see that as I change this slider for saturation, we're getting, you know, sort of a more metallic, like silver vibe, all the way to something super, super bold. We can even change change the colors, um, you know, with this hue rotator and kind of dial in our exact vibe that we want. But we can drag in literally any logo uh, or PNG into this area right here to apply that same look. So I'm just gonna bring the Nike logo over here, literally drag and drop. We're gonna scale to fit and scale this down a little bit so it just looks, you know, a little bit more dialed in. We've got this with kind of a gold look because of where our rotation's at, but if we change this up to whatever we want, uh, you know, we can kind of dial this back to something a little bit more subtle, and that's feeling awesome. Um, you can see that when we play this back, this has this beautiful like bevel, which kind of gives it, it really sells that sort of lighting effect of sort of a light moving around with reflections and all that kind of stuff. And again, we can do this for absolutely any logo. I'm gonna drag the Louis Vuitton logo and we can scale this down to kind of fit our comp a little bit better. Um, I'm going to go and dial in sort of like this like rose gold vibe. And again, this is just one of the looks that we have for this. So if we go back to browse, we can actually pull this sort of like onyx glass effect. Um, we're gonna drag that same logo in and you can see that as we do this, uh, we get this same kind of vibe, but with like a totally different aesthetic. Um, this is kind of like a black, you know, sort of like a deep, dark glass or onyx vibe, which feels really cool. Um, you know, keep in mind that depending on your computer, this may sort of lag a little bit when you're just doing a full res preview here in Premiere, because obviously this is a pretty intense effect, but you can use, you know, quarter res uh, right here to be able to, you know, play back on a lower res system. And then obviously when you render out, it's gonna be full res and look amazing. And then the beautiful thing, like I mentioned before, is the fact that we have this not only for logos, but also for text. So let's pull in this gold look and you can see that it pulls up this text window. We can type in anything we want. Let's say happy editing. But obviously we're just gonna scale this down a little bit. I really like this uh, font called Freebooter for this Chrome look. It's kind of like a scripty thing, you know, kind of feels a little bit retro, super fun. And again, you know, all those same reflections being applied, uh, you know, all that beautiful Chrome style coming to life on this text. You know, of course we can get creative and even start layering some, some elements, like you could have both a logo and you know the text elements going at the same time depending on which order you know you have you could kind of have different elements where you know it's very sort of like finessed uh very sort of you know high high class you know real classy super fun to be able to sort of do that and play with different combinations of text and logos um, but again, I mean, it's just wild how fast this is all happening right here in Premiere. Now, if you're not a Premiere user, you know, maybe you use DaVinci or Final Cuts, the chances are you probably still use After Effects for some animation stuff anyway. And so we've included this After Effects file that lets you have all of the same controls uh, that we just looked at here in Premiere. To get that effect, you can literally just, you know, type in any of your text here in the source timeline. We can change this to, Happy editing. We can make this smaller, obviously. 
And then when you update and go to each of these timelines down here, it automatically updates based on you know the effect that you have. Um, and then obviously you can do it with logos too. So we have our happy editing logo pre-built, but you can drag and drop and add whatever you want and it will update as you you know change that. So that is included in this package. So you get both the Premiere Mogurts as well as the After Effects file. And again, just a ton of value in this pack. Really hope you guys dig this pack. This is like an absolute game changer, I think, for being able to get this aesthetic without leaving Premiere Pro or After Effects. Um, really hope you guys dig it. And if you use this, be sure to tag us on Instagram, happyediting.co. We'll see you in the next one and happy editing.